What does God say about tattoos? Tattoos really fall into a category known as adiaphora, things that are neither commanded nor forbidden by God. But wait, I thought tattoos are mentioned in the Bible, even forbidden in the Bible. In Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28, it says this, Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. During the time of the children of Israel, there were people that were making tattoo marks on their body. It seems likely that it was for religious reasons, for cults for the dead. One way God wanted the children of Israel to set themselves apart from these other nations was to not tattoo themselves just as he instructed them to not eat pork or to circumcise their boys, all of these things were to set apart his people as a special and holy nation. In the New Testament, God tells us that concerning such things, we put into a category known as ceremonial laws, that Christians today have freedom. He tells us in his word that those ceremonial laws or worship laws to set apart the children of Israel were for a specific people at a specific time. And they pointed to Christ. Now that Christ has come, we have freedom in these things. This is the reason why we as Christians today don't care whether or not we eat pork. This is why we don't sacrifice animals at our worship services. They were all part of God's ceremonial laws for the children of Israel at a specific time. In the New Testament, we as Christians are very much so held to God's moral law, the Ten Commandments, as He has given for all people for all time. But concerning ceremonial law, we have freedom. God gives guidance for us concerning our Christian freedom. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 23 and 24, Paul writes this, Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. Instead of us thinking, well, how can I use my Christian freedom to get as many tattoos as I want? It's good for us to consider the effect it might have on fellow believers, those weak in the faith. Will it cause maybe some to sin against their conscience? St. Paul also tells us in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. It is amazing that in Isaiah chapter 49, God uses a gospel picture that includes tattooing. As he says these words, See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Certainly a precious message, a way to remind us that God has not forgotten about us and will never forget about us. So when it comes to tattoos, it's Adi Afra, things that aren't commanded or forbidden by God. But God would have us consider, even in our Christian freedom, how does this bring glory to God? And how can I use this to the benefit and blessing of a fellow Christian? May God bless your week. Amen.